So when it began, it was about the borders, it was about trade and all of that. And then we had the attack, and it was a horrible attack, all over the world in Paris, where 130 people were killed. Many, many people dying right now in the hospital, horribly hurt. And by the way, speaking of that, I will protect your Second Amendment 100%. Okay? 100%. This crowd loves the Second Amendment. You have to know that. This is Tennessee. And then we had the attack in California. The two radicalized people, they get married, they go in, and they shoot their co-workers and supposedly their friends. Something going wrong here, folks. There's some anger out there. We got to solve the problem. But I guarantee you one thing. These Syrians are not coming into our country until we find out what the hell is going on. Not coming in. Making the pledge that the Syrian refugees are not coming in until we can here, find out what's going I'm on. Sorry, until they can be properly months, vetted. They got to go. They got to go. The ones that are here, he's going to have them deported. You know, you have that migration, and we all have a heart. And we're going to build safe zones in Syria. We're not paying for it, by the way. Don't worry about it. We'll get the Gulf states. The Gulf states are making and have made so much money. They have so much money. They're not taking any of the migration. Vowing to create safe zones any. in Syria for the refugees. And, and that those safe zones will be paid states, for by the Gulf say, states who make so much money in done, oil. But we will get the money from the Gulf states. Do you know that Saudi Arabia, before the oil came down, now they're making half, was making a billion dollars. Think of this. A billion dollars a day. And we protect them. We get practically nothing. Why? South Korea makes a fortune. I order thousands a year, thousands of television sets. They're all made in South, Samsung, LG, they're all made in South Korea. I order thousands of sets. South Korea, we have 28,000 soldiers on the line. You have the maniac in North Korea. You have the maniac. Finally, the protesters. All right, get them out of here. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. You can see a handful of protesters. They're taking their signs down. Everyone knew that this was going to happen. Right? It's only a matter of when. This is a little bit of theater. It's a little bit of theater. Was a protest. Unbelievable. You know, we've got 15,000 people here today. Oh, the crowd is, of course, going wild. Mr. Trump is pausing in his speech while the law enforcement officials take the protesters so we out. 15,000 people. We have one wise guy, and that'll be the headline protest. But I love the protesters because the only way. The dishonest media, the most dishonest people in the world. I think maybe more dishonest than the politicians. Hard to believe. The only way they turn their cameras... Trump, Trump now Trump saying the only way that the media will show the size of the crowd is Except if there's a protester. So he's I'm glad that the protesters are here. Protesters. Go ahead and show the size crowd. of this crowd. There are people still it's, arriving. It's really unbelievable. All right. yeah, get My out. wife told me that the line for Don't getting hurt. people in is still Don't going hurt. on, literally. 30 minutes into Mr. Trump's speech, and unfortunately they had a real chokehold so, with the cars coming in, or this hangar so would have been overflow began, crowd by now. And then all of a sudden, everybody liked me from the standpoint of the military, because I get it, I understand it, and believe me, we're going to be strong, because our military is being decimated. It's being decimated. Now... We are going to be so strong at the military level. We're going to build it bigger, better, stronger than ever. And nobody is going to mess with us. Nobody. Nobody. I'm a Democrat, but I really like Trump, so I'm going to vote for him. That's bad news for Hillary. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I was going to vote for her until Trump got into it. And I agree with everything he says. I don't think he's 
out to divide the country. I think he's given the country hope for a better future.